it's Malaya here at IT Supplies. Did you know that you can use a dye sublimation printer to make t-shirts? <laughs> Today, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial and talk about what you'll need to make this happen. So, I already have my image printed and only because it is coming up on Halloween, guys. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually cut paper across. My image is already mirrored because I do have some words on here. I'm gonna cut my image really fast, though, off of this long sheet, just so I can get it onto our heat press. Usually you would do this on a table, but I found this a little quicker. So I have my image. I'm gonna take it. I am printing on the Epson Sure Color F6370. I am using a high resolution image, um, 750 DPI by 750 DPI and I am using a silicone parchment sheet to ensure that I'm protecting my heat press. And then lastly, I am using a Vapor Apparel t-shirt size large um, to go ahead and proceed with this process. So we're gonna call this spot printing. I'm actually going to lay my garment down real fast and I'm going to knock out any wrinkles that I have. All of two seconds. I don't have anything on here, so I'm gonna go ahead and just press this down real fast. All right. Now my garment is wrinkle free. I'm gonna take my image here and I'm going to center it on my garment. Make sure it's not too far down. And next, I'm gonna lay my silicone parchment sheet right on top. Now, you wanna make sure that you have medium to hard pressure when you're doing this, because what's really important with dye sublimation is time, temperature, and pressure. So I am going to make my pressure a little bit harder on here by turning my little heat press. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it back up so it can reset. So I have my heat press on 400 degrees for 60 seconds. This is gonna allow the actual dye to go from a solid to a gas so that the polymers are actually able to accept that gas for you. Now, the type of paper that I am using, this is our standard multi-purpose paper. Um, a lot of customers use this paper simply because it's easy um, to be able to use across a multitude of uh, products. So you can get into really specific papers that we have, like a adhesive or a photo paper, if you're gonna do it on mugs, the adhesive paper would be more like for apparel or anything that's fabric based, so that way when the machine pops up, you're not worrying about any ghosting happening under that. So we have about seven seconds left. And just like that, we finished an entire t-shirt. I'm gonna lift this up. And here's my vibrant t-shirt. Happy Halloween. There you have it, a t-shirt printed using dye sublimation. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. As always, if you found this video helpful, please like, share, and comment below. See you next time, guys.